So, another McCartney 3 release. Yes, yes, I know, I'm a little bit late to the game with this one, but uh, you know what? Just wanted to add my commentary on it. Uh, McCartney 3, three-year anniversary, well, a little over three years uh, with the uh, new package that just came out with the three LPs. And, you know, as I look at it, on the one hand, I can't help but think, oh, this is kind of cool looking, this is nice, right? But, you know, on the other hand, um, not quite something I'm rushing to get. It doesn't mean I'm never going to purchase it, but, you know, with this release, of course, you've got uh, three different colored uh, vinyls, you know, uh, with, uh, with the whole package, but really no new tracks to speak of, nothing along those lines. That's really the reason I'm not rushing uh, to get it. And, I mean, you're talking to somebody who I've bought a lot of different editions of this particular album. I've bought the uh, regular edition. I've bought the uh, Target Green CD. bought the uh, Target Green LP. There's the red Japanese edition uh, that I got. It's also a blue and yellow dye uh, covers as well. So, I mean, that pretty much covers it all. Not to mention the, uh, you know, other uh, various you know, releases and everything like that, uh, you know, this McCartney 3 cassette, things like that. You know, my, my point is, you know, just uh, with all these different incarnations, I enjoy the album. I still do. In fact, I did a re-listen. That's what kind of prompted me to, to re-listen to it. Um, but, you know, I think probably time to move on from McCartney 3. I, I really am looking more forward to either, uh, you know, Paul releasing new material, and I'm not just talking about the band on the run, remix or undermix or whatever you want to call it that's going to be uh coming out very shortly um you know for me you know again it's just okay let's let's move on to the next thing or of course not to mention all the uh, other things that we want to see released notwithstanding um the london town and the back to the egg archive editions where are those i'd like to see them myself uh not to mention other things like uh Broad Street and Press to Play, for starters, as part of an archive release. And, uh, you know, just kind of re-reviewing the album a little bit. Now, I did an initial review. I'm not going to really recap too much of it here. Uh, I gave the album uh, a B at the time. I still stand by that rating, even re-listening to it a couple of years later, just to see if it still holds up. Uh, definitely a B. Look, I was definitely glad it hit uh, number one in the UK, number two in the US. I'm glad to see it enjoyed its chart success. But, you know, the, the tracks I enjoy, again, you know, Long-Tailed Winter Bird is the instrumental. Uh, Find My Way is kind of the, the single from the album, the most uh, played song. Really good song right there. Uh, Women and Wives, decent enough. Lavatory Lil, fun in a certain way. Deep Deep Feeling was all right. You know, Sliding, that's a good track. Sliding, maybe even the best track on the album. Uh, the Kiss of Venus, uh, Seize the Day, Deep Down, and Winter Bird, When Winter Comes. Uh, you know, again, a lot of them, you know, solid B. I, I think a solid B overall. Um, you know, and, and very much uh, what I still felt was an essential album. I th still think it is. Uh, certainly have gravitated this a lot more than, let's say, the new album, which is not so new anymore from uh, 2013. So that's, uh, you know, kind of my feelings on it. And again, just with the plethora of different uh, additions that are probably going to be released with any new product that's going forward, uh, while I do look forward to collecting different things, um, again, I'm just not in a rush. And if you're going to offer something that's a repackaging, you know, I think at least offer really good bonus content of some sort, something along those lines. Entice me, even as a completist, you've got to entice me to get something new, something new out of it, uh, other than just, you know, a different color and that's it. Uh, so, you know, that's that's just my take on it. Anyways, I will see everybody in the uh, next video. Hope you continue to enjoy the content, and uh, again, just make sure to give a, uh, you know, just make sure to give the old thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Always enjoying it, and uh, we'll keep going. Until next time.